Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Mythical back again and today I have a couple of really cool tips and tricks I'm going to share with you that are going to help with your melody creation, your overall songwriting, and your general workflow while producing music. Those are track alternatives and enabling capture recording. Okay, let's get right into this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to enable your capture recording function in Logic, and I think it's important to have this on, especially when it's time to start creating melodies and chord progressions, because Logic is always recording that MIDI data in the background, and this way you can have it on, and if you play something really cool, uh, all you have to do is hit uh, that button and it'll populate on your track. So we'll go to our drop down button here to customize control bar and under transport you can see capture recording and we'll enable that and you'll see on our transport we have an extra little record button here so that way now if I play this random melody when I hit this it'll populate so that is a amazing function that I think is a very useful tool that I think most people can get uh, some benefit out of and you can see all that MIDI I just played here so we'll delete that but our next trick that we're going to do is we're gonna make track alternatives and you can do this for recorded audio as well uh, but we're gonna be doing this in the case of MIDI so under MIDI, you'll hit track alternatives under cycle on. So you go to your preferences, recording, and then the cycle on under MIDI, you hit create track alternatives. And if you want to do that for audio, you can do the same thing for audio. So now what we do is if we actually hit record, this is going to keep looping. And if we have... Um, some ideas for melodies or chord progressions in mind it's just going to create alternatives so that way we can cycle between what we've played and kind of decide um, the best takes kind of like comping vocals so let's go ahead and give this thing a shot So we went through the chorus twice and it gave us two different alternatives, an A and a B. And let's just see what the A sounds like here. And it's not going to be quantized. So let's just take a listen. Cycle to B. Obviously, you would have to drag the notes into place, but this is a really fun way to just audition a bunch of different melodies, ideas, anything that you can come up with that way. It'll all just save and you don't have to, you know, try to remember what you played last. So I really hope that you found this video helpful. And if you liked it, please remember to hit that like button. And if you didn't like it, well, hit that dislike button. Otherwise, I will see you later.